time to open this decision. So I decided that I want to reapply to Cambridge. What could possibly go wrong? But in order to understand, we need to take this back a few years. The year's 2017 and it's time to pick my uni choices, but I have no idea what I want to study, aside from something historical. So I give a quick google of something that I'm interested in, which happened to be Vikings, and what comes up? This course called Anglo-Saxon, Norse and Celtic, which happened to be taking place at none other than Cambridge University. From this point on, I set my sights firmly on Cambridge, so I sent my application off in October, and just over a month later, I got my response, and... That was my first rejection. Despite this, I still managed to get into a really good university, which is where I am now, in Durham. As my time in Durham ends, we reach the present day. I have decided that I want to reapply to Cambridge. But why, you may be asking. This course has been a dream of mine for the last five years. I've already failed once, and I'm not going to fail again. And I feel like I'm in a position now where I can actually apply for it and stand somewhat of a chance of getting in. And hopefully, just hopefully, it will land me my dream job as well, being a historical consultant. But first, Let's actually apply. Now the way a master's application works is that you have the course deadline and the funding deadline. Due in a few days. This application costs £75. You have to remember, we're students, I don't know why this costs so much. So this is a big financial commitment for something that could very well fall through. So here's what I need to get done. Step 1. Fill in my personal details. Check. Step 2. Write my academic CV. Step 3. Sort my references out. Step 4. Obtain my transcript. And finally, step 5. My research proposal. It was now time to start writing my academic CV. Which seems kind of easy. Oh, what was I doing back then? Ooh, what about- No, that one cut it. One hour later. Whew, we're finally getting there. I've just done the first part of my academic CV. Whoop whoop. I don't, I don't know what that was, but we're, we're getting there. This is so good. And that's a wrap, nice. So yeah, that's the academic CV done. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. So now it's time for references. I've already secured one referee, basically because I was talking to them about my dissertation. So now I need to email another one. If they don't pull through, I'm gonna be so screwed. So yeah, let's send an email off. Just like that, it's sent. It was then time to shell out £12 for my official university transcript, which I received in my email only a day later. In the meantime, I received an email from my professor saying he was happy to provide a reference. I'm gonna send him my transcript, hopefully he'll provide me a reference. Luckily, my professor was really on it and the reference came through. But this is my last chance. If my application isn't good enough, that's it. I'm done. My dream course out the window. So let's make it count. <laughs> oh, that was weird. So my application is due today, but I've not finished it, so I'm gonna head to the library and basically see if I can get it done. This is gonna be a tight one. This step was gonna prove more difficult than I first thought. And plus, to make matters worse, I hadn't even accounted for a bunch of random miscellaneous boxes that have some questions that don't seem very relevant. Little did I know, these boxes made up about 800 words, which was more than my entire research proposal. I'm so fucked. I've got nothing. Despite this, with only hours to spare, I managed to submit my application. And boy, did it feel good. It's done! I've submitted it. Come on. One week later, I received an unexpected email. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just received a decision from Cambridge. I wish me luck. I'm so nervous. Okay, about to do it now. I got an interview. I, like, I'm actually being interviewed. This is crazy. This is so much further than like, I've ever got. I got a bloody interview. I actually cannot believe it. I'm getting interviewed by Cambridge. I I thought my application was rubbish. I actually did. So that's crazy. Oh my god. I actually can't believe that. One thing that Cambridge requires is to have a good memory, so why not check out this video which explains exactly how you can improve your memory using one simple herb. 